Um, we always do this. Why did I start recording o- on his thing? I was meant to record and then that was That's the mark. backup. That should start. That should start. And then already. it's still on a white screen, right, Vloggy? Yeah, so just hit the music. <laughs> We're so professional. Oh. It's because I've been given con- like you've control got control, over yeah, this. and you're a bit, you're still, yeah. you're still a still bit Ill. COVIDy. Charles is back, thank fuck. Hi. I had to do the last podcast by myself. I thought you did a very good job, apart from mid anxiety attack. Yeah, it's funny. I turned up and Keelan, I brought some tests for the boys because they were all feeling a bit rough, and then uh, he, uh, yeah, tested positive, and because yeah. of Daisy and Sarah, blah, blah blah, all those reasons, I was like, yeah, yeah I'm just gonna go home. I don't think anyone's questioned why Joel stayed here but he was he'd been he, with you for days yeah yeah we'd been with Joel for like over a week and a half or maybe a week so yeah, yeah. I don't know he didn't test positive he's yeah crazy um Jordan's here by the way Hello. to those to those who have read the description or are watching on YouTube <laughs> and also if you are watching look at these sexy arms yeah not my guns but uh, this was out of sheer frustration after realizing that when we did the Seb podcast because Seb is not the tallest man in the world he basically his face was obscured for the absolute majority of the podcast and i felt really bad so i went home and like furiously was like well the funny thing is right there was only one these were out of stock on amazon Mm. there was only one in stock on a different website which i promptly ordered in a furious rage i then got an email saying it wasn't gonna be that's a magnetic cover (laughs) yeah don't don't touch that (laughs) it's meant to cover the i haven't played with these yet and i'm doing that while he's talking it's meant to it's meant to cover the cables but we haven't put the cables in there yet just wait sorry audio quality let me just there we go we're back bloggy pointing at yeah i know because the cables aren't long enough i need to re i need to recable everything because you put it into this top bit but it looked like shit because it came down here (laughs) basically bloggy you got bad taste and actually let's just quickly talk about bloggy's bad taste bloggy could you Come in front of yes. the camera. No, Bloggy no. comes in front of the camera. Oh, so when so I so say bad. that, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Bloggy. I meant, oh, no. I meant like he doesn't come out here, does he? Anyone who's listening, go to YouTube right now. You might have to squat down a little bit. How much did this thing cost? 20 pounds. 20 pounds yeah. of Depop. But they're usually how much? They're about 100 something. But I was Jesus. Like, you know what? That looks really cozy. Yeah. And I'm cozy. So. For, like, for yeah. anyone asking, he's, he's wearing like a, a full, like a sleeping bag that has arms and legs so you can walk around. Yeah. Um, it's not a good look. <laughs> it's not wicked. a good look. Um, I mean, to wicked, be fair, man. if you're seen, you know, at night when all the lights are out and you're wearing it, fine. But wearing in the office, weird. Yeah, he's not even uh, ill. He's warm though. He's warm. It's, yeah. he, he has been on for like an hour. Yeah, Sorry, Jordan's sick. barely got any airtime. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm just waiting. You're you know, waiting you for the grilling. Like, yeah, yeah, for exactly. the grilling. Um, if anyone can hear tip tapping, it's because Darwin is here and he might ruin this thing, but we'll see mm-hmm. what happens. But yeah, anyway, I bought one of these in mm-hmm. a furious range. I then I got a thing saying, because they were no, they, they, it's Elgato. You know, the like webcam. No, oh, they are. Yeah, I saw the logo. So the, yeah. the, the stock's been really hard to get at them because I was mm-hmm. trying to get them off Amazon. And then this supplier was like, oh, there aren't any kind of thing. So then I saw them on Amazon, ordered three because they were stock and I was like, fuck it. And then I then got an email saying the one I'd previous, I was like, oh, I'll cancel that order. And then the email saying this one, so it's arriving today. So we're oh. going to have a spare arm that maybe Bloggy can have Ooh. or yeah, we'll work it out. That'd be sick if Bloggy can have it. Uh, it might not work because it's low we've, profile. We've had, this has actually sorted us out because I've realized on the podcast anyway, with those mics, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my face is always like this yeah, because yeah. I'm talking here. And like Seb, but right now, I had to sit really upright and yeah. then he got tired because it was three hours long. So he was like, finally oh, relaxing into my really chair. Far away. Yeah. yeah, now we can chill. Uh huh. Oh, we yeah. don't have any notes for um, this episode. Absolutely but, none. But Nothing. I thought, you know, they always go the best. Jordan's a, like. he's a podcast veteran. He hasn't got yeah. any. Have you got any near death stories? Not, not now. Not this no. time. Hang on. <laughs> you did last you time. You continue talking, I'll have a think. But yeah. I don't think but so. But I, I think what we're going to do is we're basically just going to chat to Jordan about, you know, stuff because we haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, mm. Too long of a time. And then we're finally going to start listening to some of your listener messages. Oh. Um, we've got this thing on the website where you can send a voice message. You're limited to like a minute and a half. Some people have sent <laughs> full blown. Darwin, if you keep barking at me, I will. <laughs> yeah, bark back. What will you do? I'll bark back. That's the only thing. I always threaten him, but I never finish the threat because I don't want to be like, I'll kill you. Yeah, I know. And also, I look, look at his eyes. Just chill, mate, please. Um, but yeah, so people have sent in voice messages. I have listened to, I think, like one at the start and somebody just sent in penis. They just went, penis. Right, of course. But uh, there are some long ones that have been sent in. We've apparently got a story about Ethan. There's a few more. 
Uh, I'm very excited. I'm also very nervous because we could just get the equivalent of when we had the Motors Mobile and people sent in like horrific pornography. Yeah, I know. So not hopefully bad. we don't have did to like- happen? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Really? Not very good. Hopefully we don't have to edit it and get cancelled and things, yeah. but we'll see what happens. Um, but <laughs> there he is. Yeah, Darwin Starlin's just- Bonked his head on the table. Come around here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, how you doing? We, we have not seen you since October. October 2020? You helped us move into what? the old workshop. No way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's because we that's didn't when see I... you for 2021. No. No, not at all. That's the thing. It's been like over a year. No it's way. So frustrating and annoying. Yeah. yeah, Jordan, just make sure you are speaking into. I know. It, did I? Um, it's a little bit tricky for you. You might have to just like put it right in front of you, Gob. Did our massive Minecraft server extravaganza was that after we set up the other workshop? That was 2020. Though? Yeah. That was like in that period. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I just feel like I've seen you, but I suppose I saw you in the internet space. Yeah, because like we set up the old workshop and then I went back and then that's when mm. yeah. all shit kicked loose. It was right? crazy because yeah, Jordan yeah. came here and was like, oh, there's the Mez. And we were like, yeah, you saw the Mez at the last one. And we he, he saw no. the old workshop when it was, and you just, we, you, what do we do? We did the um, Black Friday video. The Black Friday video. We and, shot then, and the chili the, challenge. And then the you left. Oh yeah, shit. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, you won like around, around that time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 around that time, and then you haven't been able to because obviously COVID ramped up, but yeah. also like the fees. You'd have to spend two weeks in a hotel, like each side. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. I don't really think it was. Uh, I don't think I had to quarantine in a hotel. But the problem is, in order to get like a COVID test in Norway, you have to spend like a lot of money because you go through a private organization, which most of the tests do. For yeah, the PCR. yeah, but. The problem was is all of the cheaper clinics were fully booked. Uh, okay. So like if I wanted to travel, I had to go to one of the more expensive ones and it was mm. like 200 quid for a COVID test. Yeah, And like then that. on top of flights and then trains and all that jazz. And yeah. then quarantine when I get here. So yeah. Sad. But now nah. it's all good. Piss easy. It was, mm. it was so strange flying. Like everything was so normal and like it was really busy as well. So yeah. Yeah. Super nice though. He was yeah. saying how he's not used to speaking to English people as well. Yeah. Oh, I've got an airport story though that I told Keelan. Oh. Because I've got these really, like I've got these, my favorite pants, these oh, car, car hard yeah. pants, right? Uh, but I want them like oversized. So I bought them too big. So when I wear them, I have to wear a belt. Yeah. Like I can't not wear a belt. Oh, I know where this is going, down. yeah. So like the woman asks me to take my belt off because I go through the thing and it like beeps obviously. So I'm like, okay, take my belt off and I like hold them up while I'm walking. And then the guy's like, oh, you have to go through the arms up machine. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, well, I, I literally can't do like that. I, to I told legs. him, I was just like, I actually can't like put my arms up because my pants are gonna fall down. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. So he had to give me my belt back and I put my belt on and then I put my arms up in the machine. Wow. Yeah. I wish he just said, no, sorry. No, yeah, sorry, you sorry, 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 like, just, just sorry. He's barking at something outside. And you're going commando. You're yeah. just like, just like straight. Like just full commit, pants <laughs> down. Just yeah. like, yeah, that's you're how like, it Sorry, is. mate. You yeah. told me. That's orders amazing. are orders. Mm. Um, have, have things been in, so for anyone who's completely unaware, Jordan lives in Norway. Yes. He's from Newcastle, but he has not returned to that. It's been over a year now. Mm -hmm. Like, how annoying is my dog? I love him, but he is, he is up there on the list of annoying <laughs> dogs. He picks his times. He really yeah. picks yeah, his yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah how's, it, how's it been? I mean, it's been like. <laughs> no, I ain't come in. Sorry, yeah. listeners. We've had this before, and I had to take him out for a walk. Oh, it's because he can yeah. hear something. It's been a. It's like in terms of normal life, it's bloody great. Yeah, I, I can't say fucking right. Yeah, mate, yeah, mate, you yeah, can say yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Nice. Been okay. on the podcast I, yeah, I know, twice yeah, already. Mate, I'm so. You drowned someone this, in a lake. Like you've <laughs> confessed a murder. I it's didn't fine. Drown, I, um, I didn't. What? No, I tried to save somebody in a lake. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been good. Like normal life is super nice. Like I love living there. I just, re not recently, I think, can't remember what it was. A couple of months ago, I moved in with my girlfriend. No. And then what happens? I come to England for a weekend and then I have to move apartment. Nice, because I've yep. lost my, I've lost my apartment basically. Yeah, we've been told we have to move out. So yeah, but everything was good. Everything was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. was good. Yeah. Um, super nice apartment, live with my girlfriend. Uh, I'm climbing a lot. Yeah, uh, mm. which is super nice, just because the climbing community and the people I'm surrounded with are just—it's just really fun and yeah, something new. What about the negatives? Uh, training mainly I without mean, chatting shit on the entire Norwegian parkour <laughs> scene. <laughs> it's just like uh, training's not exactly ideal right now. Um, one big factor is weather, obviously, because winter in Norway, like the, you can't really train outside at yeah. all. Like the entire grounds are ice. Mm -hmm. um, this has, I think, been like the iciest winter we've had. Not necessarily the coldest, but because it's like 
it's slightly warmer than usual. It's raining a lot more, but then it's getting cold. So the rain on the floor is oh, like, so like everyone, icing over. Yeah, so yeah. you just like, when, when I'm walking to work, everybody walks like penguins. So you don't, like <laughs> slip. Um, wow. But How yeah, cold is it? Like degrees? Uh, it hasn't been that cold this year, but like, I think the coldest is around like minus 10, like that we've had. Nice. But that's pretty warm to be honest. Like usually it's a lot worse than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's still a bit cold. Like you go outside and it's like, oh, you need a big jacket on. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I get, I, I get the impression that not many people are training and the gyms are really. suffering because of COVID. Yeah, gym. I mean, to be fair, the gyms have uh, the Oslo Movement Gym, the really small gym uh, with like the black and red blocks, if you know the one. Yeah, I'm yeah. About. You yeah, were yeah. there. You posted something yeah, there posted, the other day. That's my most recent post. Yeah. Is that yeah. the one with the dinos? Is that a different one? Uh, no, that's a different one. That's, oh, okay. that's Oslo. That's the really aesthetic one. Oh Oslo yeah, Bob, yeah, Bob, Bob, Bob. So. And then Oslo Movement's the really small one. Um, yeah. I think I've said this before, but like when I first moved to Norway, I absolutely rinsed that gym. Yeah. Like the entire winter, just training every single day in it, and it was so much fun. But like, I kind of I've run out of ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Darwin just piercing. He's, um, right, he's on the sofa. We're all good. But I've run out of like ideas. So when I go there now, plus I don't really have like if, for example, if I went there with Keelan, I'd probably find. 10 yeah, times more yeah, stuff to yeah, do yeah. but it's just i go there by myself and now i'm not exactly finding new stuff i'm not too motivated to mm. yeah it's just a bit odd um but so yeah basically norwegians well it's kind of i don't really want to say norwegians start training again because what mm -hmm. we want to do is make norway so bad that jordan moves back to england <laughs> yeah so like ideally if jordan's girlfriend could break up with him and no one in norway trains and also and the, the rock the, the rock climbers, climbers like you or yeah they excel you then yeah. you've probably not got much reason to stay not at all really yeah. yeah you can just move away from your dream country to be honest now that we don't have an apartment at the end of may or april or whenever whenever it is yeah basically if me and my girlfriend can, can find a place here and she can find a job I mean, that would be perfect for us. <laughs> yeah. We would stop being so sad. You know, we're only sad when you're not here. It's really? the only yeah. emotion we feel, yeah. I'm completely happy, yeah. all with, like right now, yeah. loving life. Uh -huh. And then the second you're not here, miserable. So enthusiastic. She'd let her know. Be like, well, I mentioned you on the podcast. You should listen to it. She's going to be watching that. So, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 What does she go. think Please about Please yeah. persuade Jordan to move here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> what does she think about the fact that there's a photo of me on your wall? Uh, Is she, it on your wall, on your desk? Uh, it's in the frame. but the Next problem, to your bed? Uh, in the living room. Okay. Uh, but the problem is... It's but you can see it from where you sleep? No. Oh. It's, uh, I, <laughs> Did you make that up? Did you, were you yeah, just yeah, hoping yeah. it? I was hoping he could like go to sleep and see through the crack in the door and be like, can I just, can I just? <laughs> um, But it's, it's basically covered by a picture of me and my girlfriend. For fuck's sake. Because when, <laughs> <laughs> when I moved in, I put the picture, I put you in the frame and left it there. And I was like, right, Giles is staying there. And sh my girlfriend's got nothing against you. And she really wants to meet you. But I, I, it's understandable. You know, she was like, I'm not having that in my living room. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. And I'm wearing a pink cowboy yeah. hat. And I was like, well, I'm not taking else. it out of the frame. I'm keeping it in the frame. So basically, oh, so I'm hiding. You're hiding behind us. Yeah. yeah so it's like, it's like me and my girlfriend are in, in this loving relationship and you're just the support in the background. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So when somebody like, you know, you, you two get kind of murdered or something and, or like, I don't know, I, I was going to say something about the war. Like, yeah. you know, they're going through the wreckage of the apartment and yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. takes out the photo and the photo yeah. like falls off the front and then and there, there'll always be that mystery of like, who's this, like, why? <laughs> who's this random why? guy in a piece of cowboy? Or they'll, they'll think I was a stock photo, you know, when they put yeah, them in the cowboy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the pink cowboy. That's quality, actually. Stock photo. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, you're in the same frame. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, thought you yeah, just yeah. meant it was a frame and then you've hidden behind. No, he's, he has. <laughs> oh, that's even better. <laughs> no, no, it's like I put Giles in the frame and I was like, I'm keeping that. Like and then, that, and now there's a picture like that. over that frame. And then yeah. I just slid in another picture over it. Yeah. Wow. Just keep adding. So, so can you change? So when, when your girlfriend's out, yeah. do you take the take it one sometimes? Out? I yeah, have sometimes. done when I'm a bit. If she goes away for a weekend or something, yeah. goes to her just parents, like I just sit there and game and have Giles in the background. Yeah. Sporting. Mm-hmm. We played a uh, Call of Duty 1v1 oh, snipers was, only last night. That was yeah, cool. a little tournament. Yeah. yeah. You ranked everyone or, or, or whatever you call it so well. It was fairly easy when you thought we, we basically did winner stays on and we looked at the group and we assessed who were the worst players, which were me and Bloggy. <laughs> and then we did uh, 1v1 all the way through and you. Yeah, yeah. I was third because like. Did you stay on twice? Uh, no, once. Oh, one. Uh, oh, because yeah. the game between me and Sam was ridiculously close. Oh, that yeah. was the best one to watch. I to was two kills up, but then I just panicked at the end because I had my, yeah. I was on my oh, final kill. Oh, because you kill. fought me and you just slaughtered me. Yeah. yeah, I didn't slaughter you, but I did okay. I was um, pretty shit, yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. me and Sam was just like a battle to the death. It was literally yeah. like equal score the yeah, whole yeah. way until the last yeah. moment. Oh, it was great. Fun. Yeah.
It was quality though. We, we should hold more tournaments and like actually make them a proper thing. Proper thing. Just do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with parkour. Yeah, just exactly. Pure cod. Mm -hmm. um, so what are your plans now that COVID is sort of... The world's just fucked, isn't it? It's like, oh, let's yeah. make some... Oh, no, can't oh, do hang that. Hang on, next thing. Yeah, yeah next thing. Um, um, let's, yeah, try and keep, let's try and keep things upbeat. Yeah, what are your plans for the foreseeable future if things are okay? If things are okay, which they will be because... I'm deciding. Yeah. <laughs> um, just get back to more of a normality with like what I want to do with my life kind of thing. Because yeah. obviously I work full time in a restaurant in Norway because you know, you've got to pay the bills and I would love to work somewhere else, but it's not Who's that easy knows, to get Is that your breathing? <laughs> no, I didn't breathe out just that then. That was me. It was you, yeah. 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 I, just I, can't just hear, yeah. I think we, we, to anyone watching, listening, we took the foam covers off these mics to make them look more aesthetic. Wait, stop. Yeah, yeah, we too. all yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah, I purposely breathed out. I was like, I clocked it. Yeah, sorry, carry on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm, so I'm like assessing the setup. Yeah, I'm just trying to. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so now travels back on the cards. Um, I can just take like a couple of, you know, like a weekend, like I've done now. Yeah. Take one day off work, uh, and then just come over every weekend, like every month. Uh, mm, not every. Nice. Week I would love every weekend, but that's not. That be would possible. be quite a yeah. like. Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that's like that's like having a. Uh, international relationship yeah. whatever they call it yeah, long distance long distance um, that's the one yeah but yeah basic like the main problem is with covid all flight prices went up yeah it used to be so cheap to fly to the uk and it still mm. is if you go to stansted but the problem is stansted's an absolute trek away from here yeah mm. um so trains just add up the price um but yeah just come back every month very uh, nice start working with motors more and then doing what i like enjoy the he was here he, he was here for about PK. what half an hour and he started doing a photo shoot with keelan which turned out really nice yeah. so it's like cool yeah more you've been taking so fun. many nice photos in norway more of that the outdoor ones are so good love it so much like the the nature the and the scenery and everything yeah the wind mm. is so nice as well it's what? like yeah the colors so are cool, popping but, out yeah, yeah. what's your private um private your photography photo account yeah. uh it's jordan lee Oh, okay. Like, yeah, people but, can find it. Yeah, Jordan Dotley. Yeah, it's on. If you go to like my main Jordan Tyler Lee, it's like photography account, and then yeah. the accounts mm -hmm. there. Yeah, is, yeah is, so nice. do you take a lot of nature photos through? Uh, like that's what's available to you because you're climbing a lot, and therefore it's around. Or is that your your preferred? It's I, I don't know because I. I think it's my preferred, but then I'll go out and do like a motor shoot, for example, like yeah. in architecture, doing like some street photography or portrait photography. And then the photos turn out really nice. I'm like, well, wow, I think I kind of prefer this. So mm. I'm a bit undecided, but yeah, I think probably like nature landscape is a bit more of like my better style, but I don't know. You're very good at yeah. making like Norwegian scenery look very fucking appealing. Yeah. I mean, it is just appealing. Yeah, just, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I do that too Taking much. Taking it on like a Nokia 30. Maybe you're just not a good photographer. Yeah. yeah. In the right place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> do you go out and like specifically go out to take photos or do you just always happen to be out uh, with camera? I mean, in the summer, like climbing outside a lot. So it's just in the forest and it's just natural. Oh, there. Um, yeah. But also like on the weekends, me and my girlfriend will go for like a hike or something like that and just always bring the camera and take Sick. shots. Yeah. I really like the... You've done some stuff, I think, when you're like walking back from work and things, like little, little, like oh, little, scenic, yeah, not yeah, scenic, yeah. Um, like atmospheric, like street stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, always yeah, yeah. nice. I need to get more into street photography because it's it's something you know it, it's kind of I kind of treat it as like the training for photography. Yeah. You know, training for parkour, like I don't know, you lift weights or whatever. Train, train for climbing, you do hangboarding. Like training to be a better photographer, you've just got to go out and shoot in that environment because yeah, it's yeah. nothing set up and ready. You've just got to like try you know yeah see, see what, what you can make yeah yeah yeah, yeah so t so in terms of climbing you basically as tra you haven't been training as much you've just been slaughtering yeah your basically your just, fingers just getting very strong uh and it's really satisfying i don't know why it is but like the progress i've seen myself go through is insane and it's mainly yeah. because of the people i'm surrounded by as well i don't think we're gonna have time to go before you go which is really annoying because that would have to be this evening and i've got to look after this turd <laughs> but uh, i'm looking at the dog not bloggy um <laughs> But uh, we uh, we went yeah what a year and a half ago yeah yeah when I was back yeah and you were definitely better at me be better than me but there were like challenges that I remember we both like we worked through and yeah. I felt like I was training with somebody who was like just that enough better to like push to me push but not bit, like yeah. oh this guy's a monster yeah and then when you did a hangboard session the other day and you were like doing weighted like forty kg yeah. like on the on the yeah. like on the on the invisible hangboard and I was like oh okay right. like, 
Um, you so won't be those, fun like, climbing with you anymore. Well, it would yeah. still be fun, no. but it's yeah. Be trying. That's the thing. When we went climbing, like I wasn't strong. Yeah. Like in terms of climbing, strong, I wasn't at all because I wasn't climbing like uh regularly it was just something that i enjoyed so i'd go once in a while but now it's like it's it's kind of if i didn't climb i'd probably go a bit insane because mm -hmm. i just i'd feel like i'd just be working and then having like the one-off training session yeah uh so it's like it's kind of my more my morning routine is uh if i'm working in the morning and work i'll wake up and go swimming in the morning and then i'll work and then i'll go climbing in the evening or train yeah and if i'm working in the evening i'll go swimming in the morning and then climb mm -hmm. and then where'd you swim in the sea and no, in uh, like an actual pool. Oh, okay. Yeah, like actual swimming, like doing laps. Oh, uh, not like that's sick. Yeah. I, I've had visions of you because you always go to those saunas and things. Yeah, I mean, we do go to the saunas. And I would love to swim in the sea, but I don't have a wetsuit and yeah, you would freeze. Pretty intense. But you're climbing stuff. outdoors all the time, right? Yeah. Not indoors. No, uh, not at the minute. Well, we've been out like a couple of weekends, but, but isn't it's not it fucking. Yeah. How, how do you get your fingers warm? Uh, you just wrap up and warm up. Like it's simple as you just wear thermals, you wrap up loads of layers, you have your coat and then you just warm up, you know, arm circles, like yeah. stretch, use like, uh, we got this like squishy donut thing that you just like squeeze. And you can get to the wow. point where you're like, uh, it's, I mean, yeah, yeah. <coughs> like like I get to the point where I take all my layers off. I've just got my t-shirt on and have wow. like a couple of attempts and then you wrap back up. So yeah, yeah. that's cool. Cause the thought of like minus 10 plus finger yeah. dexterity, I'd be like, eh, eh, eh. I mean, right. when we've been out, it's been like minus three. So it hasn't been oh, intense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it compare to part? Or on, on, in like what way I don't know just feeling wise like do you think it could because when Toby did a podcast and he was saying like at some point he might even enjoy it more than parkour yeah it's like in it because I get I feel like I get the same feelings of yeah of, of it, training when you're doing climbing it's kind of it sometimes like, feels like the same thing yeah it it is in a very similar way but also it's not because the thing with parkour right you can not really be that warm and mm. just hop about on some blocks. Yeah. Whereas if you're not that warm and you go out, like indoors is a different thing, but if you go outdoors and you're not really warm and you try to climb like a very easy climb, it's still going to hurt and be really hard. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to be really ready for it. Mm. Um, True. I've never done outdoor climbing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just, is it way more fun than indoor? Or? It's, I prefer it. And it's kind, kind of like what you train for. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing. Cause like, like training, training indoors in a gym, it's like, you know, you're climbing, you're trying all the fun problems. It's fun. But then like you've, there's something satisfying about sitting your ass on the floor outdoors at a boulder and then it's really hard and then you you start at the bottom you get to the top you top it out and you're like holy shit i just climbed up that like it's yeah, really satisfying yeah. um so yeah. the thing i like about it compared to parkour is it doesn't have unless you like <clears throat> doing like mental dino shit yeah there's a lot less like because uh, I mean the, the amazing thing about parkour is when you break through those like scary commitment barriers yeah, 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 yeah. but parkour uh, climbing has a lot less of like the commitment and it's more like it, it's not endurance but it's no. it's it's problem solving isn't yeah, it yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, under yeah. pressure and strain and difficulty yeah and it's slower most of the time yeah and it's a lot less because with parkour, when I like beat myself up is when it's like, oh, I can't run and commit to that thing. And yeah, I go yeah, home yeah, feeling like yeah. shit. Yeah. But climbing for a lot of the times you can like, you can commit and you can commit, but then you can't quite get it and yeah. you fall down or whatever. Yeah, and, like, yeah, 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 yeah. and that's, and you like, you at least feel like you're trying. Whereas yeah. sometimes in parkour, you can't even try. Try. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. No, that's yeah. Very good point. Yeah. So. Yeah. Are we, is it technically, are we talking bouldering? Is yeah, that well, I mean, I do rope climb as well. And like when you rope climb, like a uh, sport climb, um, like as in the ropes coming up with you. Yeah, it's not yeah. top rope. Um, that's very scary. Yeah, for sure. Like it's just because then you're you're in your own hands. Yeah, and it's like height. if you're if you're trying if you're just climbing an easy juggy route, like it's not too bad. Uh, like it's fine if you know how to clip and stuff. But if you're trying like a hard project and you know you're like locking off on this tiny hold, and then you've got to take the hand away and like yeah, clip yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. above the quick draw, and it's like holy shit! If my hand slips, like you've pulled up all this rope, you're gonna fall far. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you get over it. Like it's like cracking a mental barrier in parkour. You get over it, but you've got to be pretty uh, pretty careful with that. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. So are you not. I mean, you rocked up here and immediately did the lache pre that only Marks had done yeah. in the office. Like, how how do you feel like your bar parkour aspects are? Like, do you feel because I mean, I, well, it feels like from the social presence that you yeah. barely have trained. Yeah, yeah, but is that, that the yeah. truth or is yeah. it more? Did you haven't put that much out? It definitely is. It's not the whole truth, but it's definitely a fair bit of truth. Yeah. Like, because I mean, that's kind of the thing that frustrates me about social media as well. It's like 
if you don't see somebody posting for ages, it's like, oh, He's gone. Well, they're doing nothing. Yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. training. But it's like, I have had training sessions. Yeah. But the, the main problem I struggle with is if I go to Oslo Movement, for example, the small gym, I'll go training, but there's just nothing like of interest that I want to post. Yeah. Like I, I'm just like, okay, that's a run and pre, but like, it's not really nothing new. It's not that entertaining. Like if I do some mad cool lashy line, I'll post it, but it's kind of hard to come up with that stuff in the, yeah. in the area as well. The but in, like, yeah. do you still feel like you're at a similar level? Lashy wise? Absolutely. Yeah. Like I, I can go training at like uh hall five, for example, and probably be better than I was because yeah. the strength is like and stronger. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so basically yeah. if we put, call you up for a big video project, yeah, 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 I'll you're fine. Deliver. Yeah. 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 Bigger, I mean, bigger the one, dinos though. The, yeah, exactly. The mm. one thing I'm worried about is my legs though. Um, I am, You've always had shit legs. I've always been super weak in my legs and I just can't, yeah. I'm just not necessarily weak, weak, but not explosive. Yeah. Like the explosive, like it's just not there. Um, But yeah. Well, we got a squat right now. Just got to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, trust me, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried and nothing Literally, happened. Like deadlift and just, I don't know, 160 or whatever and doing all these workouts and just... Don't nothing really happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe you just got like a weak link somewhere. Yeah, I guess so. Your big yeah. toe. Yeah, probably. Big I've toe. got really bad ankles. I like, think a lot of pop can be in your ankles rather yeah. than your legs. You think so? Because yeah. my ankle range is like so... my legs are tiny. This is your foot and then you've got like... Your oh, you mean skinny? I was going to say they're yeah. fucking long. Oh, yeah, no, they're long, so that helps. Long. But, yeah, you've got your foot, and then you've got your, like, um, what's the bottom part of your leg called? What, you <laughs> your, your, your calf, ankle? your oh, shin. Oh, your calf, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lower like, leg, yeah. My leg doesn't go over my foot. Uh, you know, like, the ankle oh, range, yeah. like, the dorsiflexion is... And then you get someone like Endis, yeah. yeah. who can basically toe to chin. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah, so, but then George's explosive, and he's got fucking massive, chunky legs. Yeah. Yeah. Not long, but... Yeah. Everyone's different. Yeah. Everyone's special yeah. in their Everyone's own way. Everyone's different. Yeah. Um, I don't know. How, how long are we going? 26 minutes. 26. Just like, oh, get, get us out. Get us out. No, no. I'm training. just like, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I know there'll be people waiting for the funny yeah. things because yeah. we've got quite a lot to go through. Some of them might be awful and it'll be like, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Finish. Yeah. But we could, we could, unless you've, I don't know. Because we were saying before the podcast, Jordan's a podcast veteran. veteran. Yeah. So we don't need to go through the like, when did you start training? All that jazz. I would like yeah. to point out to anyone who lives in Newcastle and thought Jordan was going to come and see them. No, he didn't. He no. came here. I got so Clayton. many messages when I landed. Yeah, Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> Literally off Clayton as well. He's like, oh, no, actually, no. Was it Dan? I think it was Dan, actually. We were at Project uh, Underground yeah. and a super spreader event. Um, <laughs> and uh, the amount of people who were like talking about you, all the yeah. Newcastle lads. Yeah. And I was like, he, he, he's not going to come up. Like, he's going to come to us first. <laughs> And they were like, no, no, he's going to... It and is yeah. actually funny how much more I've been here than I have been home to yeah. like my parents and stuff as well. Yeah, I feel sorry for your family. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> nice, Jesus. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you're here and that makes me happy. We, we always referred to Jordan as the third musketeer when it was when it was just basically me and Keelan at the start yeah. building this place and Jordan stepped in and he was so useful. He became the third musketeer and now we've got like Bloggy who's like the fourth musketeer but then Max is also here all the time and Sam. So we've kind of, the musketeers have almost gone out the window and now yeah. we've just got a gang. Yeah. 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 Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, Bloggy's bike isn't up. Say again. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> with the original, if you watch any of the films, it goes from like the three, and then they get that young guy involved. Oh, and yeah. the four. And oh, then I actually haven't three. seen any of them. I just None know of them. I don't think so. Not even the ones from the seventies. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm older younger than you. Yeah, exactly. And I don't I've watch films. Why would I watch films from the seventies? Yeah, they're good. Sometimes. I've seen Transformers. Nothing's yeah. going to compare to that. Oh, dumb. <laughs> just turn my mic off. Just, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Bloggy doesn't like the 1975 and I like the 1975 and I listen to heavy music and he thinks they're shit. I love the 1970s. You what did, did you try and compare the 1975 to the Wombats? Is that No, that, I, that I that we you? were having a, a back and forth and yeah. I took it that far. A back and forth. <laughs> I called it. I heard this coming. Keelan walked well. in, he was like, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> Walk back out. Mm. Um Listener stories? Yeah, I want I really want to hear them. Yeah. I'm a bit nervous to be honest. Like, the, the cable's plugged in, you need to pass it to my phone. I'd be a bit sad if the podcast that I had like a return to was the cancel podcast. Well, we'll just edit it out. If it, if it ends now, it's because everyone can't, everyone has a potty mouth and they can't like. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, nice. wow. That worked. Oh, that my was, God. Just give terrible. me the cable. I can't reach. Like some no, we don't need the Oompa Loompa or whatever you look like to come over. The, no, you look like a minion. He looks like lemon. Yes. <laughs> looks like lemon grab. Um, lemon so, yeah. oh, we've got a lot. Jesus. Oh, we have one from Marks. It just Ooh. says, you know who. Okay, I, hopefully we can hear this. 
Blue. Blue marble. Blue. Blue passports. Blue. They all be blue. So that's Mark Strong and Boris Johnson impression there. Nice. Ah, oh, this kid. Hello, guys. I don't know if you remember me. I think you probably already forgot about me. <laughs> I was the guy who said that Max looks like a cow. And this is my comeback. So his voice is... <laughs> oh. Well then. What was that? Darwin wasn't happy with that voice message. Darwin. Was the voice, was the cow voice this guy? Oh, you can't hear. Who's the cow voice? Was he the same guy? Mobile phone. Send us a message. Plus four four seven eight five six four zero zero one six one. Modus mobile phone. I hate you so much. On the beat as well. <laughs> I hate, I hate you, you so much. much. Thing is, we forgot to do the most mobile phone. This technically is like what that is. Yeah, I need to almost re-record it. The Our motors. landlord is upstairs, right? And I don't want him getting annoyed that Darwin's here. He's you- farted as well. He's got stress and he's farted. It stinks. <laughs> Bro, it smells bad. It smells oh, like so <sighs> it smells like eggy well. petrol. Oh, he's fucking so farts. Nice. Basically, we're not actually allowed to be in here. We're squatting. No, we are. <laughs> um, yes. Henning Low. Is that someone from your area? Henning is, uh, yeah, from Norway. Is it L-O-W. I don't know if it's that. Yeah, that's probably Henning, yeah. Penis. Oh, he's the penis guy. Uh, there we go. We waited that long for that. That was very long. We got Mark P. All right. Oh, hey guys, here. Mark here from Toronto, Canada, wishing you all the best for the coming new year. Keep posting, keep coming up with great ideas, and we'll keep supporting. That was nice. That was so nice. He's got his own music. Whoa. His that own music so in the background. Nice. I feel sorry for blogging because he can't hear anything. No, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's no way to get audio to you. I think Darwin does that as like a protest. What, the fart? <laughs> yeah, because he does. He always does it at these <gasps> moments. We've got Philip. Who? From Airwhip. Philip oh, Lundberg. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Philip is the guy who used to own and run Airwhip and is behind the uh, Airwhip challenge. I don't know what this could be. This is a month old, but let's have a listen. Hello, Giles. Hello, Motors Project. Philip Dumbo here from Sweden. I miss you guys. I uh, want to be the podcast. I've been telling you guys about this 465 times that I want to be in the podcast and tell the world about the airwhip history and blah, 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 blah. So tell me when it's game on. There's <laughs> <laughs> a kid in the back. <laughs> Oh, yes, I understand. <laughs> I assume that's Philip's son. Hopefully. Yeah. Also, well, he's just, it sounds assume. like he's <laughs> yeah. it is. Um, Philip, if you want to come on the podcast, you have to fly to England and come on it. We're not just we're not we're not sinking to the low of doing it online. Um, I miss Philip. All right, we've got Miles Ross Ethan story, which is a three part. Oh, it's a four parter coming up. It might, it's a five-parter. Jesus. But we Is got... It, yeah. I wonder how good it's going to be. I know. Because it's just five-parter. That's raised my expectations. Yeah. Let's listen to one from Chris Tim. Hi, um, Giles and Keelan. Big fan of the podcast. Been listening for a while now. The other day, well, I should say the other year, I was training with some friends near a church, and I was doing a climb-up, and this old lady came out and said that we were going to go to hell for jumping on the church. Nice. That's completely true. You will. Nice. <laughs> I mean, if you, it's a blessing. If you train on, on, you know, God's property, you're probably... You're going to get dumb to hell. Unless you get a really fucking nice stick. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, yeah, fair yeah, play, fair mate. Play. What, a nice stick on a climb-up? <laughs> on a climb-up. <laughs> oh, mate, he, I don't know what he was... Was he doing an old thing? Yeah. Yeah. You can't stick, do the top stick. and you get the tools on the end. Yeah. It's true. It comes as a stick, right? All right, let's let's do it. So it's it's Miles Ross, and it says Ethan's story part one. I promise it's good, and it's like imagine if it's not. It's, it's going to be long, really so we'll we'll break this down. 
What up, Giles, Keelan? Um, this is Miles, and I'm going to tell you a story about our wonderful Ethan Rude and his first night working a job with me I at a wedding think venue. So it's about 11.30 p.m., and just to preface like the whole job that we're about to do, uh, we go in to this building um, after a wedding has just ended, tear down everything that was there, all the tables and chairs, and then set up for the next one. Uh, so it's good to go for the next morning. So I go into downtown Minneapolis to pick up Ethan from Nico and Noah's place, which would be my place too, but I moved out after I got my girlfriend pregnant at 19 and traded out waking up to gunshots in the middle of the night to waking up to a tiny screaming bald man at night. <laughs> I actually, I speak to Miles quite a lot because uh, he, he had his son like two months after Daisy, so we, we've yeah. kind of been sharing things. A um, tiny bald man. <laughs> Yeah, but no, he's a, he's a, seems like a very nice guy, but that's uh, amazing. I didn't realize he was 19, so Jesus. fair play, mate. Um, Bloggy, I feel really sorry because you just can't hear anything. This is shit for you. Very carefully. What? Just about hear it. Uh, oh, no, I wish we could. There's no way of doing it, but I apologize. Um, which is besides the just point, but smile. Uh, that's where we're at. Um, I pick up Ethan. We drive into the neighboring city, and... Get to the building to do the job now. No one is supposed to be there. Um, the whole wedding party should be gone. But we go up the elevator, just a sea of people just all throughout the building. Um, and we're like, okay, great. Uh, let's find my boss and talk to her and get this whole situation figured out. So Ethan and I go to look for my boss. We're this podcast is going great. I can't bring the dog to the office, and I have to. I hate it. Who's in the door? You just can't podcast. I think it's just a delivery driver. Oh, anyway, sorry. I, what it sounds like what they're doing is they're doing like catering, they're tearing down all the tables and things. Yeah, yeah a wedding. Thank you, blogger. And they've turned up, and they all haven't left yet. It sounds like there's a shitload of people. Yeah. yeah. Kitchen. Uh, we go to the main room. Whatever. Okay. Hold. Oh. Pause. So the whole time that oh, we're okay. walking to this wedding venue. The bride is just like staring daggers into both of us. Like she has no idea who we are and she thinks we're just crashing her wedding or something. So uh, Ethan picks up and he's like, yo, um, why the fuck is she looking at us like that? And I'm like, I have no idea. Um, let's just let's just keep going. Let's find our boss. Uh, so we walk out of the kitchen and the bride stops us and she's like, hey, who the hell are you guys? And I just tell her calmly, I'm like, uh, we're the teardown crew. Uh, we're tearing down the wedding and setting up the next one. And she's like, um, I didn't fucking hire you guys. Uh, leave right now. And I'm just like, it's like some bride. Um, I have to find my boss. And we start walking off. And it seemed, it, I realized that that probably just seems pretty sketchy. Um, but we start walking off and she just screams at us. She's like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my wedding. I didn't invite you. And uh, I look over at Ethan because we're both stopped at this point, And he's just white in the face. Like he has no idea what the fuck is going on. Like it's his first day. I just took him up on this job because I wanted someone else to be there with me. And um, he's just like, yo, what the fuck, Miles? Like, wh what's going on? And um, I, I just like, yo, uh, I'm going to call my boss right now. We're going to get this all worked out. Um, okay. Story's good so far. Could be a little bit more captivating, I would say. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm, I'm curious I'm to see. To get see I, I feel like there's going to be oh, a I need the payoff. Yeah, 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 I need the payoff. Like, so I'm calling my boss. Um, I'm trying to get her on the phone. I'm like, yo, I'm going to call Liz. And, sh and the bride's just like, who's Liz? Like, there's no fucking Liz here. Like, who the fuck are you talking about? And I'm just like, Liz is my fucking boss. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I work here. And I'm, I'm just going to call her up so we can clear it up. And Ethan, <laughs> Ethan, Ethan just starts, like, backing away at this point. And I'm just kind of looking at him like... Yeah, I promise, like, I'll get this figured out. So, uh, my boss picks up. We're like, yo, uh, the bride thinks we don't work here. And uh, I put her on speakerphone. 
and she's like, "Yo, these are actually these are my guys. Um, they're they're tearing down the wedding and setting up the next one." And she's like, "Okay, all right." And then she starts crying, and <laughs> the groom like just goes totally hands off and like steps back because before he was like, "I'm gonna beat you guys up," <laughs> and he just he realized that the bride was in the wrong, and he just backs off completely. The bride runs off to go find my boss, crying. And uh, me and Ethan are just standing there, like, looking at each other, like, what the hell? So we kind of tailed our, we kind of tail the bride and find my boss. And she uh, is talking to the bride. Bride comes back up the stairs from talking to my boss, runs off. Okay, uh, fuck. Part. <laughs> oh it's God. a bit of a, he could have rehearsed it, I would say. But we, we, let's. Uh, fuck. So last part, I promise. <laughs> he um, says, and there's another message after this one. Ethan and I are just looking at each other. Ethan, <laughs> Ethan comes over to me. He's like, what the fuck is happening? Like, um, are we supposed to be cleaning? And I'm like, yeah, we're okay. We just got to find the bot. We got to find Liz first and then we can clean. So he's like, okay. Um, Liz comes up the stairs after the bride runs up before her and is crying and goes to all her friends or whatever. She's like, Hey, I'm so sorry about that guys. She's been off all night. Um, Anyway, uh, she said that you guys just didn't look like you work here and like you were dressed badly. And we were like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> we're both in like a sweatshirt and like jeans. Like, we're just tearing a wedding venue down. And Ethan's just like, what was I supposed to wear? <laughs> I was like, you're good. Um, so right after that, um, <laughs> everyone leaves. We're going to start setting up. The cleaning guy ditches on us. Mind you, it's Ethan's first day. He's got no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> My boss, Liz, breaks down crying in front of him and is like, can you guys please do the cleaning for me? I have to go home. And we're just like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell is going on? And uh, basically, it was just a nightmare first first day for Ethan. And we get done at like four in the morning. And... Uh, I don't know why he continues to do the job with me, but I'm very thankful he does. That's the end of the story. Uh, does, thank you. Okay. I didn't know that he he that's Ethan's job. No, I didn't know that either. There's a there's a 36 second thing. The story was um, okay. I would say I would expect more higher caliber from you know if if you've listened to this, Miles. I love you. I uh, never met you, but we have good conversations. Um, but I expect moving forward, I want better. <laughs> Let's just see what this fi- final. What up? This is Miles Ross. Uh, I've got a question for Giles. Oh, a question. So, uh, what up, Giles? How's oh, no. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I want you to look at the camera and uh, I want you to uh, be honest with everyone uh, when I ask you this. Um, oh, no. Oh, God. Have you tried breast milk? <laughs> Take your time. Oh, <laughs> And uh, if you haven't, uh, why, why, what are you so scared of? Uh, maybe you should just stop being a little bitch and uh, just go for it. It sounds like somebody who drinks uh, a lot of breast milk. It's stopping you, and uh, it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Okay. Um, well, I mean, without going into sort of crazy details, no, I, I 100% was set out on planning it. Um, but breastfeeding was not the easiest thing for Sarah and Daisy due to numerous complications, tongue tie, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and therefore the breast milk was in very short supply and it was a very stressful, yeah, you'll find this out when you have kids. Breastfeeding is not necessarily as easy as it, it seems to be in sort of films and life. Uh, and therefore it wasn't really like a laughing matter for me to start swigging breast milk. Um, but I a hundred percent had no problem wanting to, I've got a question for you, Ethan. You can look me in the eyes. Ethan? Ethan, Miles. I don't know which camera I'm looking at here, but uh, have you, uh, which one am I looking at, Bloggy? That one, all right. Have you tried your own baby batter? There we go. <laughs> uh, all right. Baby you, batter. Baby batter. What's that? Just the baby food? Nope. No. Nope. What's baby batter? <laughs> well, you, you, what's your baby batter, Jordan? <laughs> it was like the nicest way of putting it. <laughs> I don't know. What's your own personal baby batter? How do you make a baby? Oh, you add some batter and you yeah. put it in the cake tin and yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh my anyway, God. Uh, we have a three parts. Oh, oh, we've got some long ones. This is a four part story. It's 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 called the Stevie or Stevie Ilabaka story, part one, part two, etc. From Jimmy the Giant. Mm. Now I hope this is like you know, 
fun and friendly and not like, you know, telling a nasty story about someone. I don't know why it would be, but I didn't know that Jimmy and Stevie had like a close relationship or something. So hopefully it's not like, because obviously Miles knows Ethan, but I'm hoping it's not like, ah, oh, I heard this story about him, but we'll see. That's me assuming, should never assume. Okay, so this story I'm going to have to just, I don't know it's good. I think it's good. We'll see how it comes out. So probably... This is a good start. Numerate, like, what, what's he got? 100K plus YouTuber. It's about to get cancelled. And he's got his own microphone equipment and things, and it sounds like he's recording it through a fucking, like, turd. Two years into training, so I must have been, like, early 20s, 21. Sounds like 22. a wartime radio. I was in Harpenden. Near- Sorry. Door, Darwin, dog. Chaos, just constant. Door, door Darwin, dog. Let's keep uh, listening. With Greg, Greg Ball. And he told me... Daniel Willer back is in town. So I was like, oh my God, fuck it, all right, cool. I'm coming to Harpenden. And he was doing like something at Christian Place in Harpenden. And so I met him there. Didn't even train. It was like, uh, you know, just chat. I was really stoned at the time. That's when I used to smoke weed all the fucking time. So I remember being really <laughs> awkward and shy. <laughs> and um, yeah, so he's like, I need a burp. <clears throat> Pardon me. He didn't say right then. But he basically was there and so you know i would fucking meet him he's like my idol so i always stay as long as a kid there was a thing in the evening like music blah 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 and so i stay and i'm end up at this place and it's like a hostel so you can sleep there uh and then late in the evening stevy in the back of come around like comes there and i'd never met stevy before i didn't even know who he was i just heard surname in i was like oh he's of the holy bloodline <laughs> so he invites us that day that night to go to london and i'm like okay Let's go London. So we jump in a car that's being driven. I forget her name. Uh, I think it was Charlie or something. So like a family friend of the other backers who was like, <laughs> I hate to say it. But... Oh, oh. Yeah, I hate to say it. Basically, he was their chauffeur. So she drove <laughs> Better audio, <laughs> yeah. late at night from Harperton, hour, hour and a half, I think it took, to this random place. I can't even remember where in London it was. She parks out from. And I can't remember really what we were doing. Like, so she was, I think it was like, we were going to go just hang out, train for a bit, right? Maybe it was late afternoon. Maybe it was still a bit light. So we're training. Audio's good again. And then Stevie goes, as we're driving back to Harbinton, like that was kind of the idea. Like maybe we train for a couple of hours. He goes, oh, look, there's a building inside there. And that building's like half demolished. Charlie, do you mind just parking up right near it? And so she parks the car. And we get out and said, look, we'll be five minutes. You know, we'll go and have a look, see if there's something. If there's something, we'll come back, we'll let you know. So we go there and it's like this demolished building site that's active. So there's people working there, a few people. It's late, mainly security guys. I don't know if they're even working. I think it was just security. And so we hop over the fence and we're like fucking Tom Clancy and like we're sneaking around and we see a ladder. And now this building is probably like, I'm trying to guess maybe like five six stories now nah, it was bigger than that because i remember it was like skyline london type. <laughs> no no it was no okay i remember it was a, like a you know skyscraper type height probably way smaller than the stuff you see like nightscape climbing but still very high up i have to do another blown voice i cut down <laughs> so yeah i haven't paid for this this software thing so uh, you only get a minute and a half and they have to send a new message otherwise oh, you pay like a monthly and i'm not doing that yeah. um so it's a five, what? six story building or a skyscraper? We're not sure. I don't know. Wait, so where's this going? So, I don't so know. It sounds like they're going to get kicked off or arrested and Charlie in the car is going to be stuck or something, I reckon. Good guy. I mean, Stevie's done some amazing photography, like Urbex stuff. So. Mm-hmm. And so four or five layers, this is how I remember it. Four or five of the first layers were half knocked out and then it led Floors into like a top the, bit. Yeah. That you could maybe get to the top. But the, the first four layers were not down. We saw a ladder. Well, Stevi saw a fucking ladder. This rickety wooden, like the type that give you splinters the moment you touch it. He goes and grabs this and takes it and places it against a half demolished wall that's like quite high up. And we, we go up the first layer. That's fine because obviously, you know, the bottom ends on the floor. So it's all right. Someone's able to hold it. Then we're on the next bit. And if you can imagine, this has been demolished. So these are layers of floors sticking out with very small gaps between the floor you're on and the layer above you as in like the distance is not far 
So to get up to the next one, you have to put the ladder up, but the ladder is literally sitting on the fucking edge of this building. And so it's only the first layer, so it's precarious, but it's fine. So I'm assuming we're talking, he's propped the ladder up to a floor here, yeah. and then they've picked the ladder up and put it here, but it's on the very fucking edge, and yeah. it's going to go like that. Slide off. Oh. So it's like on the edge of the okay, thing. I was trying to imagine what he was trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I think that's what he's saying. But while someone's holding it. and but, but what happens, right, we get higher and higher, we keep doing this. The last person to go has no one supporting the ladder. So the ladder is literally on the edge of a building. And we're like four or five stories up now. And Stevy is obviously the nutter. There was three of us. I forget who the third person was. It might have been Tim Wilson. Um, yeah, he's like on the bottom just going up this ladder on this fucking edge. Like with no one holding it. Absolutely like nuts. Madman. And he's doing, we get to the fourth, fifth thing. We've like got to this level. And then there's a security guard and he's like in this building. All right, last one. Final voice note here. I do apologize. So we, we get up to this bit, and there's a security guard in this building. So we have to hide for like 20 minutes, sneaking around, trying to find a way to the next layer. Because the next layer, now it isn't demolished. It's a staircase, but it's locked. So I can't remember at this bit. I think that we broke the lock or we snuck around the lock. <laughs> Jesus or Christ. And then we just fly, go up a flight of stairs. like, And then now it's like top of the skyscraper. And yeah, I just remember like being like completely terrified the whole time, shitting myself. And then Stevy gets on top of the building. He's like running along the edge of the building, jumping to the edge of the building, setting up his camera on a timer. And because he's set up a timer when he takes a photo, he has to run and jump to the edge of this literal skyscraper that, you know, obviously if you were to fall, you're dead. But yeah, Stevy is a nutter. And I don't know how many people know that. That's Danny's brother is arguably more insane than daddy at least like on ballsiness yeah there you go sorry for the amount of voice noise hope you're doing well love you lots but boy a better story than miles is no offense miles that was more captivating mm-hmm. um hey, yeah, yeah first i didn't know that about stevie to be yeah. fair Neither. but uh, i knew he was good at photography probably shouldn't admit to breaking locks on a <laughs> public forum you know can we use that as our instagram share <laughs> <laughs> jimmy the giant just locks. put him in it um i don't know how many more we want to do of these because they're Should all like some- a- Oh, they're all long ones. They're all like a minute and 30. I'm trying to see if there's any shorter yeah. ones. There's a couple that one came in. Oh, this is 30 seconds. I want to see some nice story built, like a built story where it Rehearsed finishes with a, yeah, uh, yeah or a yeah. funny. This, this came in 22 hours ago and it's 30 seconds long. So. so I was at this parkour event and there was this guy playing guitar and he was really, really good. Like he was so, <laughs> it's guitar, so good. Man. It's and guitar. everyone was loving it and he was playing Wonder Wall and stuff. <laughs> But then there was this one guy who, for some reason, hated it. And, like, he kept trying to detune the guitar and, like, making mean stories about the guitar, man. And, like, I think it's pretty mean because everybody loved guitar, man. How has that become a thing from what one weekend? Hell? You know what it is? Hearing that actually made me feel a little bit at home. <laughs> that was great. Do you the smell of Greg's? Yeah, exactly. Do you know who that is? David.pk. Uh, I don't think I've He was I've the met guy him. who was playing the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've actually met him in person uh, because basically I left Newcastle and then suddenly the youth just decided to blow up. Uh, and okay. then the commun- I left Newcastle and then the community decided so to go. So oh, went from a good, good. Oh, you went from a bad place to a better place and then they swapped. Then, yeah, exactly. Maybe it's yeah, to yeah. do with you. No, because... Every, every, Maybe you kill parkour scenes. Yeah, apparently. I mean, you did in Norway. <laughs> That's a bit savage. <laughs> um, yeah. Do people I went, know who Guitar Man is? Went to Nova City, uh, and um, there was a guy with a guitar, an acoustic guitar, and he kept playing Wonderwall and things. And on the first night, people surrounded me and played me. Because I'm like the older guy at the events. And this was the first year, right? Every time we go to a parkour event, I'm always like, nah, if you stay in an Airbnb, like you're a bit of a snob. Like the real culture is like sleeping in the gym and i got there and it was like really cold and with it was that storm and everyone like my age like callum and lynn and things were like no we're staying in a hotel no we're staying down the road blah blah blah. and i was like oh fuck (laughs) and uh my sleeping bag broke that night which made things even worse but that was like the first night where i was like i cut i was just like i'm kind of too old for this but i don't want to admit that Mm. because i love it i love being i i I would have loved to sleep i love being part of that but i slept so badly that night Mm. people and you poured water on my head and i almost like i did yeah (laughs) he was like the crowd like they were i I was just falling asleep and keeping poor water on my head and i rolled over and there were loads of people guitar man etc and he'd obviously been goaded on by the crowd to like bully me uh, but I think because I'm like the slightly older guy and obviously because this is the problem because of the podcast because we, yeah. we have like a sort of 
Well, they feel like, like people probably feel like they know you. They and know also you people feel like we're going to talk about it and then we do. Uh, yeah. And then it kind of, you know, it ticks no one, No one actually said anything bad about Guitar Man until you did. I, I was Everyone just, didn't like it. It was too much. And then you just turned around and went, no one likes you. Really loud. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Literally, yes. like everyone was trying to sleep and he was just like... Yeah, yeah, was, I did just so shout funny. Just right. turned around and then on the like, second no night, on the second night, they left the microphones out, yeah. so everyone was like, you know, freestyling yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. dissing each other and things. And at one point, I just got the mic and just laid into the guitar man. Jesus. And then yeah, dur during the comp, I actually this was almost could have gone badly because during the comp, he was like, "There's all the crowd, you yeah. know, packed onto all the obstacles," yeah, and yeah, he was yeah, just yeah. standing there with his fucking guitar. And I was like, the "Comp's going on. Why have you got your guitar? Like, why?" Kind of thing. Uh, so I snuck over there on my story. Oh, I saw it, yeah. And I, I wanted to detune it. And then he stopped me, he saw me, and he was like, oh, no, we're... One of the guys, one of their mates, wasn't having music. He was having them sing Wonderwall. Uh, so it, that I found quite funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Apart from... I can't remember the guy's name. He did that fucking massive running arm jump and, like, oh, absolutely Finn. slammed. Flynn. Yeah, Finn. yeah. Yeah, Finn, yeah. But, um, no, nah, it was all in good fun. So thank you for that message. We've got... a. Uh, one from Richard Thompson from 14 hours ago. So let's see what this is. Uh, yeah, I've tried, I've tried to feel, fucking say the story multiple times. I don't really know how to word it properly. But basically, me and a mate of mine were on a rooftop and we we're on this. Uh, we found this like super sketchy way up. It was like awful to climb up it. And it was like a residential building. And then like on the other side, it was like a kind of building office climbing. building. And we're, we find this way up to do this gap across. Um, and we want to film it on the GoPro. So we're like prepping all these routes out. And as we're doing it, there's um, these people on the residential side and they're just like sitting kind of on their rooftop little area, um, like this kind of like balcony-ish. And uh, they're just having some tea and biscuits and just like chilling. And they're like watching us um, climb up and do this roof cap. And we're thinking, oh, fuck, these guys are going to like kick us off and uh, we're going to be fucked. So let's like get up and do it. And so like we're prepping this gap and doing all these other things and they're like watching us and we're like, oh, okay. And then... Uh, we do the jump across and they like celebrate and cheer and everything. And they're like super, super happy. And then, uh, we like just start chatting to them and then they just invite us into their house. And it's like a student accommodation and they just invite us into their house to, for some tea and biscuits, these two girls and a guy. And they're just like, yeah, come have some tea and biscuits with us, sit and chill. And we end up sitting and chilling for like half an hour, just having some tea and biscuits with complete strangers who saw us jumping on their roof. Quality. It was, uh, yeah, it was pretty jokes. More of that. Yeah. More of that. That sounds like a nice, wholesome that's just relit a little memory in my brain oh uh about like just talking about rooftop stories yeah um so basically my first ever time was it yeah my first ever time going to norway okay uh basically i go with my mate elliot uh from newcastle because he he knows ansel uh, ansel's like my first roommate when i moved to norway um he knew Ansel, so we went over to do some shooting thing for this experiment. Yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. But we go on a roof climb, and basically, yeah, we're just just general nice time, you know, climbing the roof, chilling, chilling at the top, looking at the stars. I've got my camera. Uh, it was like my bad camera, and I had this really bad, like, long lens. So we walk across the top of the roof, um, <laughs> and then I can't remember who saw it first, but basically, like... We just look looking at the building really far away and it's like these really nice apartments with huge windows. And then, oh God. And then all I see is this guy sitting in his chair at his computer, okay, just double hand going for it, masturbating wow. it, like right in front of the window. So of course I got my camera and filmed it, but I've still got my clip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, I've, yeah, it's oh, one of wow. those memories, isn't it? Yeah. One of those memories. Yeah. You revisit it occasionally. Yeah, absolutely. But it was quite, we were buckled because, you know, like he wasn't even buckled. just, he wasn't even having like a, just a good general time. Like he was, he was ferocious, ferociously going for it with both hands. Like, do you do that? No. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I feel Maybe like you got to have something decent some, yeah, to justify yeah, yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> Maybe he was angry yeah. himself. I feel like you shouldn't admit to filming that, but you did, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you couldn't see because it, it wasn't like a long length, like, because it was really far away. Um, and it wasn't like the clip was blurred and it wasn't very good. Oh, so it wasn't now like he a, comes it up, yeah, It wasn't yeah. like a full... It wasn't 4K, you know, it was yeah, just 1080. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it was um, 720, actually. We got, oh we got three others, so should we just bang them out? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's start with the 30-second one. <laughs> Jeremy Lowe. Hi guys, just wanted to ask, um, will the Modus broadcast ever open a, a highlights page or a little clips page that will, I, I, I don't know, maybe have some 
some of the shorter recordings of the podcast that may be about certain things. Um, because I've seen I've seen a lot of uh, bigger podcasts do this sort of thing. They will just open these uh, separate channels to put some of their highlights there. So just wanted to ask that. I think those podcasts actually earn money and therefore can pay someone to go through like an hour long podcast and cut the good bits out. Mm. Cause yes, it's a good idea. It just takes yeah. someone to do it. It's just effort. Yeah. Unfortunately it's not at the top of the list, but it's it's hundred percent something that should happen. It's a good idea. Yeah. A short clip about Seb talking about something from that podcast is yeah. probably more impactful. So, or your story of your friend nearly drowning. Oh yeah. Yeah. Talking about your story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All your, your peeping yeah. Tom story. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think realistically, I so many bad comments about that now. I just yep. yeah, yeah. Why does this water taste like chlorine? I thought it tasted a bit weird. I think whoever's washed up the glasses hasn't done a very good job. You did that, didn't you? No. Oh. <laughs> Someone didn't wash the suds. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I don't like people who do that. They can't. Yeah. Got to be a good washer. All right, Jack Britton. Right, I didn't realise there was a time limit on these recordings. It just stopped at one minute thirty. All right, I'm gonna bang this story out. Come on, mate. Uh, <laughs> Uh, ages ago when I first got packaged, first got into parkour, um, I was about, I don't know, 15, 16 at the time, uh, went to France, went to Lise for the old parkour pilgrimage on Good the Dandelac and all that shit. And then we were, me and a bunch of the guys from Nottingham went, and we were training on a little car park opposite the Dandelac yep. and did a little arm jump. And then a bunch of pair of cops came out of an unmarked police car and started shouting at us in French. So I was obviously like, Anglais, Anglais, Anglais. And at that point, he was like utterly furious. Uh, Nothing like an ignorant English person just being like, Anglais, Anglais. Anglais. Uh, because I was English, probably. Uh, and he grabbed me and he threw me against the wall and he punched me in the side of the head. So my head was like, fist, wall, fist. Bloody um, hell. And then he was like, oh, he was like you've marked this wall you've marked this wall with your foot clean it off clean it off now and i'm like i don't have a spot i don't, I, I don't have anything <laughs> use uh, your tongue to clean it off with and that mark was already here when i got here blah, 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 blah. um yeah and then eventually they managed to let me off with a, let us off with a warning and just sent us back to our hotel but i got punched in the head by a french policeman Jeez. when i was like 15 years old it was horrible uh yeah i don't know if anyone else has faced any police brutality during during their hops I hope not. It's not a nice thing to face, especially when you're an awkward 15-year-old teenager in 2007. Um, but yeah, they- Jesus. I mean, there we go. There's a topic. If you've got any stories of a policeman brutalizing you mm. while training, then send them in. We can see if there's an issue. I mean, obviously there's an issue. Yeah. But uh, I don't really see that that often, really. Nah, norm- parkour people. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. normally the times it happens is nor- not necessarily police, but security guards is normally there's a bit of, you know, yeah. a bit back, of back. Yeah, yeah, back, back so I know forth. Max uh, Max never told the story of him, like, oh, the guy with the bat. baseball bat came out and smacked him on the knee of a baseball bat. Yeah, And broke, broke the baseball bat with how hard he hit. Max is massive. Load. He tried to steal, he was trying to steal their stuff as well. A few years like, ago, take right? it into their house. Yeah. Oh, really? They, like, left their stuff, like, in an alley near this guy's house and he came out and was like like, trying to take their stuff because he was annoyed at them do you remember the sweden incident no uh when we went to we were at air whip and this was oh the arts party yeah yeah oh yeah got fucking i thought i was yeah you got dragged out or whatever yeah yeah. because i thought i was part of a bar fight i just walked walked through walked through two guys fighting and (laughs) they they must have seen Oh, I don't know. I can't remember anything. I, I didn't get hit, but I just remember coming straight out. They just grabbed you by the neck and, I got and just dragged you out. I got out, bodied yeah. by a security guard, like an actual flooring on the concrete. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. luckily drew. When I was on the balcony, I saw it happen. I like stormed down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew I remember t- watching you actually. I was sitting there and you were just fucking. Oh, <laughs> drew Taylor, just luckily, just yeah. yeah, and then there was that me. guy outside because it was like a, a load of like nasty people, yeah. apparently, who were like in the bar. Mm. And then that, like, I don't know who he is. He's he's Swedish guy. And I've seen him act out weirdly in the past. Yeah. And he, he like, tried to fight them as he well. slapped him, I think. And then the guy just smacked him in yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like trying to be all big. He was drunk. And he was like, this guy's like twice his height and like twice his fucking width. Yeah. And he was like, come on then. Da, da, da. And I like, slapped him and the guy just laid him <laughs> out. And then it just wow. it escalated from there. Because you guys were young. Yeah. And I remember being like, because everyone started running down the street after the fight. And I remember yeah. being like, just stay fucking yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> like, that that oh, was God. also the same night where that floor upstairs. Do you remember? Would look like it was going to fall through. There were so yeah. many people, yeah. and everyone was jumping, and it was kind of like wobbling. <laughs> Classic air whip. And, and I've last seen night. clips of that happen. Yeah, where, like, yeah the floor yeah, has yeah, broken yeah. through. Oh, crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, yeah, in Sweden, obviously, you're not 
it's like a legal or you get like put, you can get in trouble for like acting drunk in public yeah, and, yeah. like they, they really condone it of course um all right final one I don't, I don't think we've missed any but if we have i'm sorry but we've got a, a two-parter from sam ev ev Everle from yesterday yeah so uh one time i was filming like a nighttime video like a thief in the night kind of dark mysterious sneaking in the shadows that type of style and like um, jordan with his camera then i was doing a line in front of an entertainment center um so it's kind of these walls out the front i wasn't even near the front door um and i was just jumping around there trying to film it and then the alarm went off so i quickly ran and sort of hid across the road in case like security came along and we're just sort of training across the road and then firefighters turned up turned the alarm off then left and i was like okay cool uh, so I went back over, uh, started training around again, uh, and then the alarm went off again. And before I could leave, the firefighters turned up, um, and I'm there with all this. What? Okay, what's an entertainment center, and where has such prompt fire service and they turn up before <laughs> Twice. you Twice. Can... Like, sometimes you set an alarm off in England, it takes like three hours yeah, before yeah, somebody yeah. fucking turns it off. Yeah, like, rapid service. Wow. This kind of giant floodlights dressed literally like a thief. Um... <laughs> out the front of their building. Oh, wait, was he literally dressed like a thief for the video? Is that what he just said? Sounds like it. Can I scroll back? Oh, no, don't don't break it. Okay, I don't think I can scroll back. But yeah, it sounds like he was dressed as a thief. Not Probably not the best thing to do at night. And they walked up to me and were like, uh, what are you doing? And I was like, sorry, I might look a little bit suspicious right now. And they were like, just a little bit, bro. <laughs> like black and white uh, outfit. <laughs> I was like, oh, have you heard of parkour before? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like my my, my niece does parkour or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And like I showed them what I was doing. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's sick. And they, they really liked it. Um, that's and a I good didn't response. get arrested, which was fun. A second part to this. Yeah, so uh, one time I was filming this night time. He's just sent it twice. Video, called like a thief in the night. And Assistant. I was filming it over the course of like a year uh, at night time. Imagine if it wasn't. Wait, is that just accidentally sent twice? No, no, that's a set. He obviously, th I think he maybe thought it didn't send. Yeah. So technically there's a second oh. version of the same story. I, we could listen to it and just compare notes and just see <laughs> see if he's got any different, you know, he might have like bigged it up on the second one. Yeah. He'd be like, yeah, then the police came and I got thrown up against a wall. That's hilarious. But, um, oh, I think we, I yeah. can just imagine, he sounds so chill as well. I imagine like that conversation between the firefighters and him. He's like, yeah, sorry, I'm just yeah, dressed like a criminal. But... Yeah, yeah. Looks suspicious, yeah. but you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, well, yeah, there you go. That is, I think, all of them. Mm -hmm. So thank you, I guess. Sorry, Miles, I feel like I shit on your story, but you were first, so yeah. you, you actually weren't even first, but mm -hmm. you know. Um, I think it's funnier because we know Ethan, though, because I can imagine Ethan in that situation. Yeah, Send, we want some funny, we want some police brutality, we go on some peeping toms, uh, you know, all the, mm. all the grotty stuff. Send yeah. us that. So, and ideally keep it short because yeah. that felt a bit long. And I feel sorry for a bloggy. We're going to have to hook up a headphone situation because he just has absolutely no, no idea. idea what yeah. Yeah. Yep. Probably the worst. I was listening in, you know, he like, dressed as a... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We should get a, like a sign language person who stands here and does that. And then you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> True, yeah. Um, anything else to say? I feel like this has been a weird episode, but also fuck it. Has it's been, been a nice strange, one. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm just, just enjoying just spending time with Jordan mm -hmm. before so. he goes tomorrow. Oh, it's so it's happened so fast. You know, yeah. I was like before coming. The best out, things always do, Jordan. I was like, is it really worth it? It just seems too fast. And then I was like, nah, I've got two whole days. Like two whole days to do so much with, and then and we've spent it all. It's here. literally gone. Like yeah, yeah we did yeah. a tournament last night. Yeah, no, it's been great. <laughs> but I just like I want to do that every day of the week. You yeah, know? we can literally. Your girlfriend's watching the podcast right now. Literally, this is the yeah. last. She's thing made she's it all the way to this point yeah. through yeah. all that bullshit. Yeah, and you need to move here <laughs> with her and come in work with us. Yeah, we've got trees, and actually, good this trees. area has really good. To be fair, yeah. but does it more nature? Yeah. No way. Tombridge Wells yeah, are yeah. some of the best bouldering in the country. Holy shit! Natural really? using bouldering, sandstone, sandstone rocks. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Oh, we can boulder. We can train. We can do photos. Yeah, That's kind of tournaments. Isn't that bad here, tournaments yeah. all the time. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I mean, my dog can lick you. I love Darwin yeah. so much. Oh, such a pain. It's quality. 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 Um, sick. Now we've got to do a ten questions. Yes. After oh, some I'm lunch. really nervous for After that. some lunch. Yeah, that seems quite, really it is intense. A bit, it yeah, is a like, bit like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you'll be all right. Oh. Right, yes. Right. Thank you for having me.
That's all right, mate. No worries. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for being listening here. to the stories. Yeah, send us some shit. Mm. Rate right, on Spotify. That, yeah, comment. Buy some clothes. Please buy some clothes because we don't have much on the store. We've got some new stuff coming. Um, there's also the tra- trousers issue that, yeah, yeah, they're not on the store at the moment. We'll, we'll explain that at some point. <sighs> but we got feel my stress levels rise whenever yeah. the topic yeah. comes up. But we have got some, we got some really cool shit coming actually. Yeah, yeah. we've got some very so, nice stuff, which I'm looking forward to. Really Prod me is like the it. discount code if you want 10% off. Mm-hmm. Prod me. Prod me. Love you, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I never love them. <laughs> <laughs>